How's it going everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a very special episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where you asked for it. You asked, Mr. Tiny, how do I get a tiny home park model delivered and set at my property? Well, better than tell you, I'm going to show you. So I've come right here to Campbell, Texas to a RV park model tiny home community which is located in Campbell, Texas by the name of Hidden Forest Lake. So I'm here during a client's delivery so that way I can showcase to you the steps that take place for a home to be delivered leveled, blocked, and anchored into the ground upon completion. So I hope you enjoy and stay tuned. As you see here behind me, this is the semi truck being used to transport a RV park model into the community. And right here behind me is the location where the RV park model will be placed today. You see we have it perfectly nestled within the trees. We've chosen to go with a crushed gravel pad for this client's property. That's not a necessity, it is a preference. You can choose anything from a dirt pad, crushed gravel, concrete runners, or even a complete concrete slab. That is your preference. But this will make a great location right here at Hidden Forest Lake communities here in Campbell, Texas, where we have the community center right here behind us, as well as a beautiful lake view. So this is a great spot for the client to place their RV park model. And as you see here behind me, this is called a house cat machine. What this is used for is to be unhooked from the semi truck and brought through weary conditions. Whether you got a tight squeeze, if it's wet, it's places that a traditional semi truck cannot go. This house cat right here is controlled by remote and can move that home on a dime into place. And as you see here behind me, we have the matting process. What this is used for, our guys have the experience in knowing that the ground has been wet. It's rained the last few days, so they place these boards down over the tires so that, we, that way we can make it into the location with ease. So that process we take care of upon delivery or if you're out of state this would be the process that you would get your local installer to complete if it is wet or moist on your property.
And now that the home has been brought into the spot, you can see that we are now beginning the blocking process. We want to keep the wheels and axles on the home because it is a recreational vehicle. And that way, if the home needs to be moved again, the wheels and axles are already in place, ready for the home to be moved out of position. So we block them from the ground up, usually anywhere between 24 to 36 inches to allow adequate crawl space underneath the home. Once everything is blocked, this detachable hitch is rolled underneath the home, which we'll show you at a later process. And now the process that is taking place is the water leveling. We have a jug that you saw at the end of the home, which is at the height that the home needs to be brought up to where the beam and axle meets. So that gives us the direction on the level setting. So as you can see, this hose is brought to each section. And as they place it right where it is level underneath, the water actually rises and sets at the area that the blocking needs to be completed at. So you can see everything here is on that level. See here, we have the augers which are implanted into the ground about three to four feet. And they're drilled into the ground with this machine because this is what is actually going to be holding the home into place. Because we're going to take these hurricane straps, which is on each side of the home, and in that place, we're going to attach the hurricane strap to the top of the auger. So you can see that process taking place right now. And now you're witnessing the third and final process of securing the home into the ground. First, we level the home. Second, we block the home. And now we're anchoring the home into the ground. So the strapping is actually ran around the steel I-beam frame underneath your RV park model. And we tie that strapping into the auger, which was imprinted into the ground three to four feet earlier. And as you see, we have the hurricane strap, which is ran up the sidewall here. It actually goes behind the sidewall, up over the roof line and back down the other side. So you have complete strapping over your entire RV park model. And then this strapping down low, which is imprinted there into the auger is going to be connected to the hurricane strap as well and then anchored into the ground for security against high winds. So this is a process that you can see goes a long way and secures your park model into its foundation.
here we have it. We have the RV park model in its final destination. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showcasing this process to you today. You asked for it. How do I get my RV park model delivered and set? Well, you got me out of my suit and I put on my jeans and boots for you today to showcase firsthand the process every step of the way from the RV park model being transported via semi truck to the location and once it's close enough to the location we disconnected it from the semi truck and attached it to the house cat which is controlled by remote that way the home can be nestled directly into space as it is needed and from that point the set process begins where we're going to level the home via water level we are going to block the home and then we anchor the home into the ground via the hurricane strapping provided by every park model that we sell here at recreational resort cottages so again i hope you found this video very educational and informative and i Thank you so much for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Feel free to contact me directly about any additional information via Instagram at the Mr. Tiny at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y. And you can connect with I anytime. And until next time, I will see you on the next Tiny Home Tuesday. You have a great day.